So, I think we've just uh, come up with the official title of our documentary. It's called Sask Watch. And I'm here with uh, Kirk Evans of uh, Washington, D.C., now calling Virginia his home. And he's had some very interesting experiences he wants to share with us about Sasquatch settings out here. I'm amazed that they're everywhere in the country. Uh, I believe Sasquatch has been spotted in 49 states. I can't believe that. Yeah. Yeah. Hawaii is the only missing state? I think Hawaii is the only missing state. I don't know how to make a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> Sasquatch are primates, and yeah. they're not they're not good swimmers. I mean, humans evolved to swimming, but you don't see a lot of chimpanzees in the water. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Bigfoots also have very hard time swimming. Good in trees, good in, in shale, good in snow, not uh, not so good in the water. <laughs> Shale. I get out, but it's so funny. It's it's awesome. Um, you know, Kirk, you were telling me about the. the <laughs> and go. So you, so you were uh, telling me about the, the furniture on the side of highways. Oh yes. And actually, that's not just a bunch of redneck hillbillies that were losing furniture. No. Their truck. Well, well I, mean, I suppose it's possible that a certain percentage of the chairs and tables you see on the side of the road can be attributed to redneck hillbillies. Right. But a large amount of the furniture you see on the side of the road is actually Bigfoot um, angry. Bigfoot gets angry. Yeah. And he throws his furniture around because he can't control himself. I just would be curious to know what is actually prompting anger in a, in a beautiful, large, subprimate species that's living wild and free in the woods. If only that were true. But it's human encroachment everywhere you go, you know? Bigfoot sets up a nice home in a glade. Uh, He's got his family there, he's got his ottoman, his little overstuffed chair, and he, uh, you know, he hears construction, and it, it's another friggin' subdivision. Yeah. And he gets mad, and when Bigfoot gets mad, they break things, because they're not, you know, they don't have a lot of self-control. And they're very, very strong. So, he could pick up his chair and he could fling it, and it would go, like, half a mile. <laughs> so, he could sometimes run into furniture on the side of the road that basically was flung there by an angry Bigfoot. Yeah. Thank you. Now, I don't know if there's been any um, deaths related to Bigfoot encounters here well, in the East, Southeast. I'm sure people go missing and it's never yeah, accounted. Yeah, Bigfoot, Bigfoot is responsible for countless indiscriminate slaughter. I mean, you just don't, you just don't come across corpses. I mean, Bigfoot is way too... They're, they're, you know, they're professional killers. And they are very, very dangerous. And they're very quiet, and you never know they're yeah. You never see a Bigfoot coming. Never. People, people, that's why nobody has ever lived to talk. I mean, you never see a guy who saw a Bigfoot and lived to talk about it. They can prove it, because they're dead. Anybody who's seen a Bigfoot in real life is dead. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And the, you never find a body. You never even find, like, a buzzing pile of flies. I mean, they're just gone. Bigfoot can disappear a body like a, like a mob. How do they, how does, what are the preferred ways that Bigfoot will, Bigfoot will dispatch his victim? Most of them just consume them, like in two or three large bites. And they, you know, I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not like a, like a biologist or anything like that, but I imagine they've got some kind of digestive system that can do away with bones and hair and clothing. Yeah. But now, I mean, to give you credit, you do have some uh, published work on uh, Bigfoot. Yes, I do. I Particularly... Did. Pertaining to their gastronomic program. Yes, I did write a piece for the Fredericksburg Freelance Star describing how I went into uh, uh, the woods and sat down and tasted wine with Bigfoot. And Who was their wine of choice? Uh, Bigfoot likes Prosecco. Oh, shit. Yeah, but I gotta be honest with you, I made that up. Okay, I didn't really do that. See? Otherwise, you'd be dead. I was just joking about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, really, you couldn't really taste wine with Bigfoot because he would be dead. But. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that was just a joke. I mean, Bigfoot is, is real, and, uh, and, uh... And that wasn't. That was not real, yeah. That was just a joke. Cool. Thank you, Kirk Evans, for your sure. time on, on Sasquatch, and uh, we'll have more installments coming. Sure.